Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. Thank you guys so much for coming and drawing with me today. This is always the highlight of my day. My name is Brad and I love to draw. Hopefully that's why you're here too. So let me give you a few hints on our very popular farm animal that we're gonna be drawing today. The animal we're drawing today is very, very intelligent. It makes grunting and squealing noises and it likes to roll around in the mud. Did you figure out what it is? Yep, we are drawing a pig today. And the reason we're drawing a pig today is because of you guys. So many of you asked to draw a pig. So thank you so much for submitting your animal requests. Uh, we are definitely taking them seriously and adding them to our list for future videos. You can reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. All right, are you guys ready to get drawing? Awesome, okay, well let's make sure we have everything we need first. All righty, let's make sure we have a nice clean sheet of paper. Get our sharpened pencil out for sketching. We always do our sketching first. And then make sure you have some type of eraser to erase that sketch because over top of it, we're gonna use a dark marker or a pen to do our outlining. And at the very end, of course, we are going to do some coloring. Got my big bag of markers here. Hopefully you guys have something to color with. It could be crayons, pencils, markers. It could be paints, whatever you want. All right, so let's start sketching. We're gonna start with the body first. We kinda wanna see where it's going to fit on the page. Now I'm gonna draw a big oval right over here, leave a little bit of room on my right-hand side because that's where I wanna put the pig's head. So let's see, I wanna kinda go like this. I don't wanna go too low because I still gotta fit the legs in there. Kind of, a, kind of a chunky oval, nothing too long and skinny for the body because pigs are known to be a little bit chubby. <laughs> so we'll do them a little bit round. We'll make ours a little round. Now their head usually kind of comes from, the, from their back to their head, there's not a huge difference. So a lot of times they'll just kind of go down right here, kind of go down like this. And then we'll have a, let's do this. Let's have it go, come out here, go down. And then we're gonna draw just a little curve right here and go the opposite direction. So it's almost like a backwards S shape. We're gonna have it come out like that. Does that make sense? So we're gonna slope down and then we're gonna draw a straight line down. Let's do, we got this bottom part right here. Let's do something like this. Let's go ahead and do like another U shape and we're gonna connect it all the way up to this snout. So let's do something like, like this, go down and connect it right there. They're very unique looking animals. They're very popular animal too. These animals can be found on pretty much anywhere in the world except for like Antarctica. It's too cold for them there. But they're on every continent. Everybody knows about pigs. All right, so let's maybe we wanna make our pigs smiling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this point right here, the tip of the nose, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do a little curve right there right there. And then I'm gonna do another one right here to make it look like it's smiling. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this, I'm gonna erase this because I'm not gonna draw that part, but I might cut this a little bit short because that bottom lip is usually further back than the top or the nose is. So I'm gonna make sure it's a little bit shorter, just a little bit. Doesn't that look too much shorter? There we go. I think we're in good shape now. So let's put the eyeball on our pig so you can see kind of where we're gonna have that early on. That'll dictate where the ears are gonna go. I'm gonna give it a nice friendly eyeball looking back at us. So we're drawing the pupil in there, which is the black part of your eye. And then let's do the ears. Now they have really cool big ears. Now there's a couple ways you can draw, I mean, not a couple, there's a thousand million different ways that you can draw the ears and you can draw them however you'd like. You can draw them as little triangles. You can have them going forward if you want, like that. You can have them go straight up. Whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and have it look like this. Now just follow follow me real quick and just see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna draw kind of, I don't even know what shape that is, almost like a little teardrop that I'm just not covering the bottom. I'm not filling in the rest of it. So it looks like a drop of water or a teardrop there for the ear and just have it stick straight up over there. 
And then I'll have another one come out back here on the back side so you can see that it has another ear back there. But it's on the back, so we'll keep that line there. Most of our pig's already finished. <laughs> it's a pretty easy animal to draw. Um, and you can draw it even easier if you choose. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it some, some of the legs right here. And I'm gonna go start with maybe the back leg. You know, we'll draw that haunch there on the back for their leg. And then I'm gonna have it kind of, maybe I'll have it walking. So we'll draw the leg kind of go back a little bit. And then we'll draw this. We'll have it kind of taper down, which means it's going to be from big to small. Go down there. And then I'm gonna give it its little hooves at the bottom. So those are actually the little toes and they have four toes on each foot, but they only walk on two. So I'm just drawing the two right here. So we got the one leg. That might be a little big. <laughs> maybe that's a little, uh, no. Maybe I'll just make them chunkier. Is that good? No, I'm gonna make it a little shorter. It's a little too long. Leg's a little too long. But that's okay, that's why we have our eraser. I'm gonna go like this. And like that again. And we're gonna go draw that. There's a little triangle right there. And we'll draw like a little line right there to show that that's, the, that's their toes. And in the front here, I'm gonna draw just a little line to draw the front leg. Let's do this. And then I'm gonna draw the arm. And I don't need to draw it so as big as the leg because it isn't as big. It's gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna draw that. Maybe draw a little curve, like a little C shape. And then go straight down to where the end of the foot is. And then right there, I'm just gonna go back and do the same thing, do a little triangle. Maybe you just draw little little lines. Maybe your legs look more like this. And you just draw four legs just like that. If that's easier for you or you like that look, then go ahead and do that. Maybe you want to draw and make your pig covered in mud because they like to roll around in mud. Do you know why they like to roll around in mud? It's actually really interesting. So it's not that they just like to be dirty. We always associate pigs with dirtiness, just being really filthy. And that's because, yeah, they do like to roll around in mud and, you know, we feed them and they, we feed them on the ground and they kind of like grunt and make really kind of bad manners <laughs> when they're eating. <laughs> well, the reason why pigs roll around in the mud is because they can't sweat like you and I. When we sweat, the little water comes out, the salty water comes out of our skin called sweat. They can't do that. That cools us down and they can't get cooled down that way. So they roll around in mud and that helps them cool down. It's pretty neat. I mean, technically it would cool you down too <laughs> if you rolled around in mud. All right, so let's do that back leg. We'll do another one right there. Now I'm kind of doing opposite. So I'm doing this front leg going in the front, this one going backwards, and then the other ones on the other side going the opposite way. That's how they shows that they're walking there. So then we'll draw little lines right here again. And then we'll draw a little triangle. And we got our legs. All right, so this looks like a prize winning pig, a really big pig. This is starting to look like some of those pigs I see at the fair. They have some really, really big ones that, that they, uh, they have called show pigs. And they make sure they feed them a lot to make sure they're real healthy and look really nice. And they can win prizes for raising a really, really big healthy pig. All right, so let's do the little iconic tail. What does their tail look like? Yeah, it does that little curly cue, huh? So we're gonna do a little curly tail. It's really cute on the little baby pigs. What do, what do they call little baby pigs? They call them piglets. Little piglets. Like on Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> little piglet. All right, so there's my curly tail. I got my big ears. They actually have kind of big ears, so I'm gonna make sure I see those. And I think I am ready now to do my final lines. All right, so hopefully yours is looking good and at a place where you can start outlining. If it's not, just pause real quick, no rush. Go ahead and finish it up and then uh, catch up right now when we're doing the outlining. Okay, right, so I'm gonna start right here on the back, on the pig's bum. I'm gonna go all the way around. Maybe you wanna add spots to your pig when you get to color. Maybe you should do that. There's lots of different kinds of pigs. Some pigs have a big band of color right there. You can make up your own kind of pig if you want. And 
there we go. On the ears. Those big ears. Now, do you know what pigs eat? Pretty much anything. <laughs> they eat pretty much anything. You know, when the farmer goes out and gives them their food, they give them a lot of leftovers a lot of the times. So they'll give them a lot of leftovers of other food, or they'll give them their pig pellets that have all the nutrients and things that they eat, but they're not really picky eaters. They're really good eaters. That's why we sometimes say you're gonna be pigging out when you eat a whole lot. When somebody's eating all the time, we say we're gonna pig out. That's where it comes from. Because watching pigs eat is kind of a little bit gross. <laughs> I think it's a little bit gross. But they actually are really enjoying their food because they have more taste buds than we do. I didn't know that. Your taste buds are on your tongue and it makes it so that you can taste all the different flavors. Like sweet or salty or sour. All those different types of flavors. We get to taste all those different ones because of our taste buds. Well, pigs have even more taste buds than we do. So imagine what food tastes like to them. There we go. Now we're going to draw this leg in the front here. Make their little hooves. There we go. Pigs are also really intelligent. I didn't really think that. I guess you don't think of these animals as intelligent or even clean. And they actually do like to be clean. It's kind of funny how we just assume animals are a certain way because of how they look or how they act. We kind of just assume that's what they're like and that's either how we treat them or we call them names because they're different or that's because we, we see that they're different than us and they do something that we think is gross or weird or different and we kind of call them names. Doesn't seem very fair or nice, does it? with animals or people. That's why I like learning about different animals while I'm drawing them here. I like learning about them because one, it makes it easier to draw them when I understand what, what parts of their body do what and why they have different characteristics or features on their face or their body that make them different. It helps me draw them, but it also makes me appreciate them because if all of the animals were exactly the same, would this show be very interesting? No, it really wouldn't because we'd be drawing one animal. They'd all be exactly the same. But we get to draw tons of different animals, millions of different animals if we wanted to because they're all different and, they all have, and they're all cool in their own, their own way, which is pretty awesome. All right, well, I think I'm pretty good. Maybe I should add just one last little thing on the let me add a little bit more here on the eye. The great thing about this is I can add more, but I can't take away. So I always kind of start small on things when I'm drawing with marker, and then I'll add the details or make it a little bit larger, add to it later. All right, so I'm gonna draw a little line right here for the ear. You don't have to. This is what I'm just gonna do because I think it'll be kind of fun. Draw a little hair. They kind of got hairs on their, on their whole body. They kind of have hairs. They have little really, really light white hairs on a lot of them. And in fact, I lived in the Philippines for a little bit, and I don't know if you can see my arm, but I have kind of blonde little white hair on my arm. And the little kids in the Philippines used to call my arm um, like the hair on a pig. So they used to call me a baboy, which is the pig, because of that hair. They said it's like really clear, just like a pig's. I should take offense to that, but I didn't because it was pretty cute. And it's true, it does kind of look like pig hair. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully you're in a good spot with yours. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to erase all the, the pencil sketching underneath it, and then we're going to go ahead and color it in. So I'll do that on my own. You go ahead and catch up and then color it, and we'll, we'll meet up at the very end. There we go. My pig's all filled in with color, bright pink. <laughs> now they don't only come in pink. There's lots of different colors 
for pigs, but I wanted to make mine a classic pink pig. And I think I'm gonna name my pig Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I like that name. We're gonna name it Brooklyn. Well, hopefully you guys had a really fun time drawing and hopefully you like how yours turned out. And if you did, make sure that you sign your name. We always gotta sign our name afterwards. So make sure everybody knows that we are proud of what we made. Oh shoot, it's not a W, that's a triple U. <laughs> it's all right, I'm really happy with my pig still and hopefully you had a really fun time drawing with me today. I love drawing with you guys. Drawing is my favorite thing to do, but doing with you is makes it even more fun. So make sure that if you wanna show off what you've made, I want to see it. So tell your parents to go on Instagram and just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club or use the hashtag Brave Kids Art Club so that I get a chance to see what you guys are doing. And at the end of the week, there's a chance that your work will be featured at the end of our show. But you guys are doing a great job. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be, you got it, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.